All right, so in today's video, let's talk about the Final Fantasy 16 demo, and let's get into it. All right, so I put a few hours into the Final Fantasy 16 demo. Uh, I streamed it here on the channel, and you guys can check that out if you guys want to see the stream. But this is going to be my thoughts around that, as well as what I'm hoping the game comes out to be, as well as some of the things I'm kind of worrying about as the demo didn't really shine any lights on some of the things that normally Final Fantasy games do. So uh, first off the combat and everything they showed in the demo was amazing. I think I had some frame issues. That was probably one of the big things I noticed at, through the demo, but I think they are kind of trying to fix that as they are going to release a patch day one which is smaller and they originally said that they weren't going to but i think it's based on the feedback of the demo they really see that they need to optimize it maybe a little bit to help with that and i don't know if they're gonna add any type of like settings for the playstation 5 for like motion blur or anything like that i had some issues with that i also brought that up on the live stream but other than that i really enjoyed the combat i really enjoyed the story so far this is going to carry over to the game since you can just take the save and move it directly into the actual game when it releases so that's actually really cool uh this is pretty much the prologue i believe is what it's called the beginning of the game and so we've been kind of introduced to the characters given some expectations for what it's going to look like uh, i don't know exactly if it's going to be playing like it does in the demo as it doesn't seem to be open world it seems to be based on the areas and you just moved from area to area. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that, but the map in the demo is just area to area. Hopefully it opens up at some point and this is just the beginning. I would love to have some open area, even if it's like a uh, sword and shield type of situation where Pokemon sword and shield has an open area, but they kind of, you know, load you into other areas. I do wish it would be completely open world, but if this is what the compromise they have to do to make other parts of the game really good, then that's great because the combat feels fluid and uh, all of the spells and everything that you have access to are not behind like a menu necessarily. So I actually really like that where you don't have to just select from a menu to do things like the Final Fantasy 7 remake where a lot of it's just through menus. That's a great style, but I do like the idea of them exploring how do you do it like live action and not actually have to stop for anything but it does seem like you can do that if you want to as you can put some reins around your combat of allowing it to slow down so you can react to things or you can just not do that and you're able to just keep playing it where it's a bit kind of more like a souls like you don't have any of the slowdown and you'll just react hopefully at the right moment so that you can get things done but then it's also accommodating other people that may not have the same physical ability to do that so that's really cool to gauge the difficulty of a game based off of that rather than just the difficulty slider that most games have i don't believe i saw a uh, difficulty slider or anything like that so you can't choose that, but it's really cool that they're adding different things to make it that way. So you can make it easier for some people or make it harder for some people. I enjoy that a lot more than just a difficulty choice that you just get, you know, easy, medium, hard. It has come out that you have to play through it twice potentially to get everything, which is kind of cool. I like the new game plus kind of mechanic. I don't think every game needs to do that, but that might mean this is shorter than other Final Fantasies or not open world, like I'm mentioning before. Uh, which I don't, I'm leaning more that it's not a complete open world and maybe this is just more linear story and I'm okay with that. I think there's a place for both of them as long as they try out new things every single game. I'm not too worried about them switching back and forth between different like concepts of open world or uh, stage based games. I'm not exactly sure what you would call it where you have to jump from region to region. But overall, I really enjoy this game. I actually got more excited after playing the demo than uh before i wasn't as excited because i didn't see too much about it i wasn't deep diving into all the trailers or anything like that i just saw the initial trailers and i didn't know exactly if i would enjoy it but after playing the demo i really enjoy the combat i really enjoy the story really enjoy the environments they look really nice and 
it seems to be giving you direction which is a lot different than the game i've been playing recently which was zelda tears of the kingdom so so i'm hoping they changed up and made some evolutions to different concepts they always bring back stuff from other final fantasy games so that's you know expected but i would love to see what they do differently in this game as well as are they going to do dlc are they like how are they going to expand this game after the fact i don't believe there's anything uh, hinting towards dlc or anything like that there's some stuff that you get from buying the premium or the limited edition but i don't believe it's anything more than like cosmetics so let me know in the comments of it if it isn't it might be a sword that you might be able to get i'm not 100 sure uh i am getting the collector's edition that'll be uh, unboxed as soon as i get it i don't know what i'm getting it i haven't got an email yet as of recording right now uh and so we're a few days beforehand and I haven't really got a notification or anything if I'm going to get that on the release date. So I might just double dip and buy it another time and play it so I can have the, a copy of it on the release day and then open up the collector's edition once I get it in my hands. So let me know what you guys think about the demo. Are you guys going to buy the game? Did it make you actually want to play the game more? Uh, especially since it's just a free demo. You didn't have to pre-order or anything for it. I love those, especially the ones that just move the game save data which square annex seems to be doing a lot more or your the save game just gets moved to the main game after the demo and after the game is released so uh i love seeing square do that so i also want to mention that i like the uh extra little slice of the demo that they added as well where you get like level pushed up a level and get to see a different uh area of the gameplay kind of hard to explain they they just push you into a, a section that's actually later in the game and they give you a bunch of abilities and let you just play with uh, how that whole mechanic's going to work. And I really enjoyed that. It was just a little bit of the beginning of the game and not just somewhere you get a bunch of the abilities. So I do like that they did both essentially where you don't have to worry about looting or anything because it's not tied to the save game that you just played through. I really enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments if you guys liked the separation of the two where you played the beginning of the game and then they push you forward a little bit and give you no context for the story just to try to play through more of it to see how the bosses will be and and the areas will be let me know in the comments what you guys uh think about the demo and uh before we get out here like this video if you liked it dislike if you don't hit the subscribe button and then turn bell notification on so you get notified when we upload new videos as well as we go live here and we'll be streaming final fantasy 16 over the weekend and playing through as much as we can as quickly as we can try not to get any spoilers because i know it's games already out there so i'm trying to avoid any spoilers make sure you check out all the other links down in the description as well and there's twitter discord affiliate links and a bunch of other stuff down there so also let me know in the comments what you guys think about this video or any other game that you guys want me to check out that's coming out this year and thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one